Hey, what up you guys? It's Barcode Benny, and I'm back with another awesome GTA 5 glitch tutorial. This is the C1 keep and the C2 keep for your male character. So I've already done C1 keep and C2 keep for the female. Requirements for the male is what you're going to need is two consoles. And you're also going to require net cut. So you can go ahead and lock up your console or whatnot. So let's get right on into this, you guys. So your C1 Keep and C2 Keep are the foundation outfits for whatever Beth outfits you want to create. So whatever outfits that you're going to want to make, this is the foundation. Like the basis of what you're going to make, how you're going to make your outfits. So in order to make the C2 Keep, we're going to make that one first. What we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the closet. And you want to make sure that you have the Arena War and you do the Rookie Mission or whatnot. Because you need the Rookie Outfit for the Arena War for this um, for these outfits, basically. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to put on the Rookie Fit. And you're going to save that on your C2, uh, in a C2 spot. Just name it C2 and I put it on my third spot. Now once we have that saved in a C2 spot, well named as C2, now what you're going to want to do is go into, um, go to the bitch at the counter, go to the outfit selection, you want to go to racing suits and you want to put on the navy racing suit. And when you put on the navy racing suit, you want to just simply save that as a C1 outfit. And I usually put that in my second slot. And then from here, what we're going to do now is we're going to go um, back into the outfit selection. We're going to go into the standard outfit selection. And we're just going to choose one of the first three standard outfits. So I went ahead and just chose this one right here. And then what you're going to want to do from here is just walk outside. You're going to walk outside and you're going to apply a parachute. And then you're just going to take it off so you can trigger a save. Now, as soon as you trigger that save, so I'm going to put it on, take it off, I'm going to see the save circle down in the bottom right corner, and now I'm going to lock my console 1. Down in the description below, I'm going to have a link to showing you how you can lock and unlock your console. Now, once you lock your console 1, you want to switch to your console 2. Now, once you load onto your console 2, you want to just simply go to, pre uh, you'll be in story mode, go ahead and press start, go to online, and you just want to go into a friends only session. Once you load into that friends only session, all you're simply going to want to do is open up your interaction menu, you're going to go down to your appearance, and you're going to select that C2 outfit, which should be the rookie fit. Now, once you back out of the interaction menu, you're going to see the save circle down in the bottom right corner. Once that save circle disappears, just simply go down on your D-pad up to Franklin and go ahead and accept the alert. Then you want to go ahead and switch back to your console 1. Now, back on your console 1, you simply want to open up your interaction menu and you want to select your C1 outfit. Then when you back out of the interaction menu, you'll see the save circle down in the bottom right corner. Once it disappears, just simply go into story mode. Once you're in story mode, go ahead and unlock your console 1. And when you load back in, this is what you should be wearing. Then you want to just simply go ahead and save this outfit as your C2 outfit. I'm sorry, you want to save this as your C2 keep outfit. So make sure you keep that in mind. So you want to save this now as your C2 keep. You could also, if you wanted to, go ahead and add some spike cuffs to this because I put spike cuffs on basically everything. And you can go ahead and remove the shoes and put on no shoes along with the sand cargo um, pants as well if you want for your C2 keep outfit. You don't have to change it, you can just leave it as it is, but I choose to add these things just so I don't have to add them later because I'll end up doing it anyways. Anyways. Now let's make our C1 keep outfit. So what we're simply going to want to do here, you want to go ahead and put on a standard outfit. Go ahead and remove any um, accessories that you may be wearing, like I'm wearing the glasses, so I'm going to take those off real quick. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the top section, or actually I'm going to head to the short section, and then I'm going to put on the love warp. The, bleh, oh my gosh, if I can talk today, that would be super awesome. Anyways, I'm going to go into shorts and I'm going to put on the Love Heart Boxer Shorts. So you just want to go into the short section and you want to put on the Love Heart Boxer Shorts. Now, once you have the Love Heart Boxer Shorts, you want to go into the top section. You want to go down to t-shirts and you want to put on this orange v-neck t-shirt. Now, as soon as you put the orange v-neck t-shirt on, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and save this in your very first 
or your very last slot as your merge outfit and you can go ahead and name it as merge as I do as well or you can name it whatever you want I mean it really doesn't matter but it is your merge outfit it just helps me remember exactly what it is so I just save it on my very first slot and I name it merge so this is going to be our merge outfit then and you want to make sure you're not wearing any shoes too. just take off the shoes so anyways once you save that in your merge spot what you want to do is go over to the bitch at the counter you want to go into racing suits now whatever logos you're going to want on your outfit so whatever logos they might be um the red uh racing suit the white racing suit black racing suit whatever racing suit whatever logos you see on the racing suits that you like the best that's the racing suit you want to put on and you want to save that in your c1 outfit so for uh, my logos what logos i'm going to choose right now so once i save this on the merge spot what i'm going to want to do is go to the bitch at the counter you want to go to racing suits and you want to choose the logos that you want on your outfit so i'm going to want the navy racing suit so i'm just going to go ahead and save the navy racing suit on my c1 spot now for my c2 outfit what i'm going to save on my c2 is going to be my c2 keep outfit so once i have those three outfits made what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head right on outside I'm going to make sure my c1 outfit is on and I'm going to apply the Israel parachute now once I put on the Israel parachute I'm going to go ahead and lock my console one and then I'll just simply switch to my console two now back on my console too what i'm simply gonna do is from story mode i'm just gonna load into a friends only session now once i load into a friends only session i'm gonna simply open up my interaction menu i'm gonna go down to appearance and i'm gonna select my c2 outfit which is gonna be my c2 keep outfit now once i select that outfit i'm gonna back out of the interaction menu i'm gonna see the save circle down in the bottom right corner once that save circle disappears i'm simply gonna press down on my d-pad and go up to franklin then once I'm safely in story mode, I'm going to switch back to my console one. Now back on your console one, you want to simply open up your interaction menu. You want to go into appearance and you want to remove the parachute. Once you remove the parachute, you'll back out of the interaction menu. You're going to see the save circle down in the bottom right corner. Once that save circle disappears, just simply go down on your D-pad and go up to Franklin. As you're going into story mode, you can go ahead and unlock your console one. Now, once you unlock your console, you can go ahead and load back into a friends only session and this is going to be your result. Now, from here, what you simply want to do is go ahead and start up It's a G Thing, which the link to that job will be down in the description below. You want to go ahead and load that up. Make sure um, the outfit selection is set to player saved outfits and then you want to invite a friend. Then go ahead and ready up. On the next screen, you're going to go once to the right and once back to the current outfit. And you're going to see that the logos are going to transfer onto your merge bit. Then you want to go ahead and ready up. Once inside the mission, you just want to simply head to your apartment and save the outfit as your C1 keep outfit. Now this is the foundation you can use to go ahead and build up for your next outfit. So there you go. What you're going to do now is you're going to use that C1 keep outfit and you're going to go ahead and build your outfit from there. I'm going to be posting more videos, a step-by-step -step process for how you can make a best fit. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until my next video, you guys, stay lit. <laughs> Alright, this is it. I'm out. <laughs> Peace. Flip a cup of whip. She don't miss. <laughs>